Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about factoring using all the techniques. It's going to be hard. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, x to the third minus 5x squared minus x plus 5, and we need to factor this. Well, right now I'm looking at it, I think I can group it. So I'm going to group the first two parts together, and then the second two parts together, but be careful. That subtraction sign, it was just to the x, and I don't want it to distribute to the 5. So to cancel that out, I'm going to put a minus 5 right there. So when it gets distributed, it stays a positive 5. Now with each group here, I see I can pull out an x squared in the first part. So I pull out an x squared, and what am I left with? Well, just an x minus 5. The second part, well, what can I put up? Well, just a 1. Right? Nothing really going on, nothing shared. So if we just pull out a 1 so we can see it visually. And we have an x minus 5 right there. Hopefully you can see we have an x minus 5 written twice. So we pull that x minus 5 out from both sides, and we're left with that x squared minus 1. Right there, the x squared minus 1. Now they're being multiplied, but again, we're not done x squared minus 1 can be the same thing as a x, right, x plus 1 times an x minus 1. That's how that factors out. And then we have an x minus 5 right there. And so our final answer is x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 5. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. And so as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.